Hi, I'm Joe James. In this video, we're going to learn how packing and unpacking variables works in Python. This is such a cool feature of Python. It's kind of an inside feature that a lot of other programming languages don't have. So I'm going to walk you through a lot of different examples to show you exactly how to use this. And in a few minutes, you're going to learn some Pythonic code. This is useful for swapping variables. It's also useful for assigning variables, let's say three at a time or something. Uh, it's also useful for passing variables into functions. So I'm also going to cover the star operators, star args, and star star kw args. I'll explain to you what those mean and how they're used in Python. So let's take a look at what I mean by packing and unpacking variables. First, you can assign variables in groups. If I want to set a equal to 1, b equal to 2, c equal to 3, I don't have to create three different statements to do that. I can just say a comma b comma c equals 1 comma 2 comma 3. It does all three assignments in one single statement, which is really nice. And then I can print out a, b, and c, and you can see the result. a is 1, b is 2, c is 3. It does, it does this triple assignment in a single statement, and it's very clean and readable as well. So it's efficient for programming, but also very readable. So that's an assignment statement. You can swap in a similar way. If you want to swap x and y, this is a nice sweet thing about Python, x comma y equals y comma x. That's all you have to do. Here I put a 5 into x and a 12 into y. I want to swap them. I say x comma y equals y comma x, and then I print out. Here I get x equals 12 and y equals 5. So I successfully swapped them with this simple little one-line swap statement. Python does everything else behind the scenes. You don't have to worry about it. So that's a really nice feature of Python. And it keeps getting better in this video. Just watch. You can swap a trio of variables in Python. Yes, this trick, the same trick we just did works for three variables too. So first let's assign x, y, z. We'll put x is 77, y is 88, z is 99. And then we're going to swap these z, x, y equals x, y, z. So z is going to get whatever was in x, x is going to get whatever was in y, and y is going to get whatever was in z. And then we'll print these out. And what we get is 88, 99, 77. You see what we get? So we successfully swapped all three variables, but this one short, sweet little swap statement. So this works for three variables or two variables. Two variables is most commonly how you use this to swap variables, but you can also swap three if you want. Nice. So you can split a string into multiple variables. Here we have a comma b comma c. We have three different variables, and we have a string with 4, 5, and 6 in it, and I want to split. Now, the, you may know that the split, the default argument is space. So if there was a comma here, all I would have to do is put quote, comma, quote, in parentheses, and pass that in as an argument, and it would be able to split a string as comma separated. In this case, the 4, 5, and 6 are space separated. If I just want to split those into three separate variables and do the assignment all at once, no need for for loops, no need for anything fancy, just do a 4, 5, 6, but that's my string, dot split, and then it will assign those to A, B, and C. And then when I print out A, B, and C, we get 4, 5, and 6. And guess what else? Python is smart enough to know that these are integers. It looks at A, and it says that looks like a 4. So it converts it from a string to an integer type. So I could do calculations on a, a equals 4. This is pretty smart, too, about Python. OK, we can split a list into variables. That's also pretty darn easy. We put a my list here, 8, 9, and 10 in the list, three variables. If I want to set a equal to 8, b equal to 9, and c equal to 10, all I have to do is say a comma b comma c equals my list. Python, on its own, just says, hey, I'm going to unpack my list here. We're going to get three separate numbers or items out of this list and assign those to A, B, and C. And it does all that for me. And then when I print out A, B, and C, I get 8, 9, and 10, just as I hoped I would. So Python does, again, a lot of work behind the scenes for you. Now, 
One thing I'll caution you on when you're unpacking variables like this, if you have a three item list, you better have three variables here or you're going to get an error. So if you have two variables or four variables and you have three items in your list, you're going to get an error. That's not going to work. So the number of the number of items in your list has to match the number of variables you put here. Okay, split a tuple into variables. That works just as nicely. So we have a tuple with 25, 26, and 27. And we say x, y, z equals that tuple. And then we print x, y, and z. What do you think we get? Well, we get the 25, the 26, and the 27. So Python is just as equally able to split up a tuple as it is a list. So that's nice. It's basically, it's an iterable. Python sees this as an iterable or a sequence. Uh, so one thing to uh, note though is when you set var equals abc, you might think, oh, this will give me a list. Wrong. This actually gives you a tuple. This gives you a tuple. Python sees abc as a tuple. If, if you want to tell Python that this is a new list, you have to put the square brackets around it. Otherwise, it's going to see ABC with commas as a tuple. So working in the opposite direction doesn't work exactly as you might want, but this, this will create a tuple for you. We see when we print the type of var, we get uh, classes tuple. Uh, next is this star args. You'll see this used actually in a lot of programming language. What does that mean? Star args or argsv, okay. So argsv, sometimes as it's written, the v means variable, variable number of arguments. Variable number of arguments. So we don't know how many arguments. There might be a different number of arguments. In other words, we could pass in a four, four arguments or we could pass in ten arguments. Uh, but we want to be able to receive all of those. And so the way we do that is using star args or star args v. Actually, it doesn't matter what variable name you put here. I used args because that's the most common variable name. But you have to put a star here, and it can pack up what we're sending in. So let's look at what we're doing here. We're setting x equal to forest, y equal to hill, z equal to high. So we basically have three different strings, x, y, and z. And then when we call this function, this is just a function call to this function here, we pass in three different arguments, each one of which is a string, x, y, and z. Right? We pass in three strings as arguments. Now, our function here, packet, we're going to assume doesn't know how many arguments it wants to receive, how many, how many people are going to pass in. So it uses star args basically to pack those into a tuple. Whatever is passed in, in this case three arguments, but some variable number of arguments, it receives those as a tuple under the variable name args. So star arg says, hey, Python, however many arguments there are, pack those into a tuple so that I can use those inside the function. And then when we print out args, what we get is forest, hill, high in a tuple. And when we print out type for args, it's a tuple. So Python smartly packs these three variables up, or however many there are, into a tuple that we can use throughout this function. And all we have to do is put that star operator before the variable name. And you can use any variable name you want. Again, I used args. And if you want to do the sort of opposite, it also works in the opposite direction. So this unpacks the list before you send it. So uh, this function, we call it uh, unpack x comma y. So here we're getting two variables that we can use inside of our function, but we're starting out with a list called args. And here we have Colin and McDonough, two separate strings in a list. And when I call unpack it and I put star args in the function call, it's going to unpack those two arguments and pass them in as two separate strings or two separate variables. When the, when the function receives that, it's going to see it as two separate variables. It's finding the first one to x, the second one to y. Now here the number of variables needs to match up to the number of variables here. The length of the list needs to match up to the number of variables here. And we print out x and y and you can see the result. We get both of those. So this kind of works both ways. Um, when you put star args here, you're basically receiving a tuple. 
but when you want to pass in a variable length list, you can use star args to unpack that when it sends it. And we also have star star kw args. What does that mean? Hmm, well, kw just means keyword args. And what does that mean to us? Well, keyword is, is basically key value pairs. It's a dictionary in Python. So uh, here we have um, a function called func, and then we're going to pass in three different key value pairs. A is Edsel, B is Betamax, and C is mgates. So we have three different losers that we're going to pass in, and if we want to pack those up into this dictionary called losers, it's going to receive it as a dictionary. Star star says receive whatever you get as a dictionary. It's a variable length number of keyword arguments. There, there are three here, but there can be any number of keyword arguments inside this function call. And then we can use this dictionary, losers. You see we print out the dictionary, no problem. Uh, we print losers A, which is Edsel. That's exactly what we get, we get Edsel. And we print out the type, we get dictionary. So this is received as a dictionary. Now the, the thing I don't like about this, um, this, is, this is handy, this is convenient, and sometimes it's extremely useful for passing in a variable number of keyword arguments. Uh, however, what I don't like about it is the, the formatting for what goes inside of this function call. Uh, a lot of formatting for standard dictionaries, it won't take. So I put some notes up here. For example, you can't put one colon Edsel, two colon Betamax. That does not work. So some standard dictionary formatting inside of this function call here is not going to work. You have to follow this formatting, A equals Edsel. That type of formatting will work. You can't put a number here, uh, which you would be able to in an ordinary dictionary. Uh, and you also cannot put a colon here, you have to put an equal sign. So it's a little bit awkward, but it is a pretty handy feature in Python though. So keyword args for passing in sets of key value pairs and receiving those as a dictionary. Use star star uh, dictionary name. And lastly, this is fairly similar. We pass in uh, a dictionary of losers a, Etzel, B, Betamax, and C, Matt Gates. And we make the function call star star losers. So we're basically unpacking this dictionary as we send it to the function so the function can receive it as three separate variables. Now when we print A, we get Edsel. So it's receiving these as variables. It's no longer a dictionary. It unpacks the dictionary and it basically passes in the values to these three variables. So that's how that's working. So packing and unpacking of variables is so useful and so uh, you'll, you'll, once you learn how to use this in Python, you're gonna love it and you're gonna use it all the time. So this is a great, great feature to have in Python. And that's one of the great things I love about Python is the convenience of being able to pack and unpack variables behind the scenes and Python saves you a lot of work in coding this. I hope this video was helpful for you. If so, please click the like button and subscribe to my channel. I'm Joe James. Thanks for watching.